start with period 3 and unit 11 at the playground with language presentation. Please, I want you to listen and look at the pictures. Track 16. Unit 11. Period 3 and Period 4. Language presentation. Let's go on the slide. Let's go on the swings. Let's go on the roundabout. Let's go on the climbing frame. Let's go on the seesaw. Let's go in the sand pit. I want you again to listen to the language presentations and please repeat again. Track 16. Unit 11. Period 3 and Period 4. Language presentation. Let's go on the slide. Let's go on the swings. Let's go on the roundabout. Let's go on the climbing frame. Let's go on the seesaw. Let's go in the sand pit. Excellent! Let's start with activity number one. Listen and write. Look at the picture, please. What can you see? We can see playground. What can you see at the playground? Look at the equipment here. What can you see at the playground? Yes, we can see swings. Excellent. What else? We can see roundabout. Great. Slide. Excellent. I can see sand bed. Great. I can see the seesaw. Excellent. I can see the climbing frame. Excellent. So here we have many, many equipments at the playground, right? I want you in this activity to listen and write numbers on the line according to what you listen. For example, number one, swings. Number two, roundabout. Number three, slide. Number four, seesaw. Number five, climbing frame. Number six, sand bit. Right? I want you to listen. Prepare your pencil first. Then listen and write the numbers on the line according to what you listen. For example, seesaw. Number four, when we hear seesaw, so we write number four on the line. So listen and write the numbers on the line according to what you listen. Track 17, Unit 11, Period 3, Activity 1. Listen and write. Let's go on the seesaw. And the slide. Let's go on the slide. I'd like to go on the swings. Me too. Let's go on the swings. And the sand pit. Let's go in the sand pit. What about the climbing frame? Yes, and let's go on the roundabout too. I want you to listen again and check your answers. 
Track 17, Unit 11, Period 3, Activity 1. Listen and write. Let's go on the seesaw. And the slide. Let's go on the slide. I'd like to go on the swings. Me too. Let's go on the swings. And the sand pit. Let's go in the sand pit. What about the climbing frame? Yes, and let's go on the roundabout too. Great job. Let's move to activity number two, listen and say. Please listen and say. Track 18, Unit 11, Period 3, Activity 2. Listen and say. Seesaw. Climbing frame. Roundabout. Slide. Sand pit. Swings. Please, let's read the words together. Seesaw, climbing frame, roundabout, slide, sand pit, swings. Great job. Now, the last exercise here in this period, exercise number three, say, look at the speech bubble. Let's read the sentence together. Let's go on the slide. Here, I want you to use this expression. Let's go. Let's go on the slide. Can we say sentences about the pictures here? Yes, we can. Look at picture number one. Let's go on the slide. What about picture number two? What is it? The seesaw, right? Can we say complete sentence about picture number two? Yes. Let's go on the seesaw. Excellent. Number three, what is it? Excellent, the sand pit. Can you tell me a complete sentence here about this picture? Yes. Let's go in the sand pit. We use here in because we go inside, okay? When you play, you go, you go where? You go inside, so you have to say, let's go in the sand pit. Okay, tell me a sentence about picture number four. Excellent. Let's go on the swings. Great. Number five. Can you tell me a sentence about picture number five? Yes. Let's go on the roundabout. Excellent. What about picture six? Let's go on the climbing frame. Excellent. Here, again, I want you to say many sentences with your friends about these pictures. Don't forget to use this expression, let's go. Let's go on the slide. Let's go on the seesaw. Let's go in the sand pit. Okay, thank you again. And great job, my dear students. Let's move to activity number one. Write in period four. Unit 11 at the playground. As you see here, these equipments at the playground. We have the swings, 
the slide, the roundabout, the climbing frame, the sand pit, and the seesaw, right? Here in this activity, I want you to write the missing, what? The missing letters, okay? Prepare your pencil and please write the missing letters with me. Look at picture number one. The swings, right? The swings. S-W-I-N-G-S. Okay, swings. Now look at picture number two. What is it? The slide. Great. The slide. Can you write the missing letters? Yes. Let's write the missing letters together. How do you spell slide? S. Excellent. L. I. D. What is the last letter? E, excellent, slide, S-L-I-D-E. Let's move to the third equipment here. What is it? The roundabout, excellent, the roundabout. Can you write the missing letters? Yes. What is the first letter here? R, round, G, excellent. How do you spell the word roundabout? R, O, U, N, D, A, then, excellent, B, O, U, T. Great job. Now look at picture number four. What can you see? What is it? The seesaw. Great. Can you write the missing letters with me? Excellent. S E E then S A W. How do you spell seesaw? S E E S A W. Excellent. Number five, what is it? It's what? The sand bed. Excellent. Sand bed. How do you spell sand bed? Can you write the missing letters? Yes. Now check your answer. S A N D P then I T sand bed. Great. And the last one we have what here? What is it? Climbing frame. Can you write the missing letters? Yes. How do you spell climbing frame? Check your answer. C L I M B then I N G climbing. B here is silent, okay? Letter B is silent. So you have to say climbing frame F R A M E. Great job, my dear students. You are amazing. Here, let's choose the suitable preposition in or on. Look at the first picture. They are playing where? On the sand pit or in the sand pit? Let's read the sentence. Let's go in the sand pit or on the sand pit. 
Excellent. Let's go in the sand pit because they are playing in the sand pit. Let's move to the second picture. He's playing. Let's read the sentence. Let's go in the slide or on the slide. What do you want to choose? Is he playing in the slide or on the slide? Hmm. Choose the suitable preposition. Excellent. Let's read the sentence together. Let's go on the slide. Great job. Let's move to activity number two. Write. Let's read the words in the blue box. In, on, seesaw, slide, roundabout, sand pit, climbing frame, swings. Here, I want you to look at the pictures, then write complete sentences about these pictures. For example, sentence number one, let's go on the, you can choose the suitable words from the box up and write down on the lines. Picture number one. Let's go on the. Prepare your pencil and try to write correct sentences. Here, the sentence starts with capital letter and you have to end your sentence with Follow stop, right? So number one, let's go on the. Check your answer. Let's go on the seesaw. Number two, let's go. Look at picture number two. Let's go where? Let's go. Check your answer. Let's go on the. Swings. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's go on the swings. Number three. Let's what? Can you write a complete sentence here about picture three? Yes. Let's what? Now check your answer. Let's go on the roundabout. Great. And picture number four. What is it? This is the sand bit, right? Can we write a complete sentence here? Yes, choose the suitable words from the box up, then write a complete sentence down. Check your answer. Let's go. In the sand pit. Okay, because we go, we are playing in it. Let's go in the sand pit. So don't forget to start the sentence with capital letter and end it with full stop. Great job, my dear students. Thank you. Mm -hmm.